What up, what up guys, Synapse here, and today I want to talk to you guys about the single most important moment of any interaction, okay? And that is the moment at which your eyes first meet hers. In other words, when she first looks at you, right? So if this happens on the street, you'll notice, um, you know, you'll be open, you'll, you'll walk there, you'll talk to the girl, you'll open her, right? And she might be like, whoa, I got surprised, or whatever. Um, but when she looks at you, right? Because at first it might take her a second. She might be like in her own world, maybe listening to music, focused on walking, right? And she might hear this voice. She might be like, hello, I am foreign dude talking to you on the street. And so she, it might take her a second to kind of realize what's happening and look over, right? Now, a lot of guys make this mistake. I've been coaching um, a bunch of guys recently. And, and one of the mistakes I'm correcting is they... They start off looking at her, right? They like they open, they say their first few words, and then they look ahead, you know, to make sure they don't run into anybody or something like that. But that's a problem because if she looks over at that particular moment and your eyes don't meet her eyes, right? That's you know a missed opportunity, right? She's much more likely to then just continue walking, ignore you, and keep moving. Okay, so it's very, very critical, very important at that first moment, whether, again, this applies especially on the street, but equally to bars, you know, social situations, anything like that, your eyes must meet, you must hold that eye contact, and she should be the one to look away first. Now, why is this so important? Well, as humans, we have a very short amount of time to determine whether somebody is trustworthy or, you know, just you know, somebody trying to sell you something, somebody with an ulterior motive, some other kind of agenda, right? And girls even more so. They're used to breaking a guy down within a couple seconds of meeting him, right? She's gonna look, peer into the soul of you through your eyes, right? And determine, is this guy, what's this guy's relative value compared to me? Is he hiding something? Are his intentions pure? And your intentions could very well just be to take her home that day and have sex with her. But you better believe that in your core, right? You better have congruence with that, right? With your intentions. You can't be hiding it, right? In other words. And none of this is verbal. It all takes place in the half second when she looks over at you, checks your eyes, and says, is this guy who he, present, who is, who he is presenting himself as, or is he hiding something, okay? Now, you always want them to look over and think, oh, you know, he seems aware, he seems present, he seems focused on me, he seems interesting, right? And he seems calm enough, he's not a serial killer, and he's not hiding any sort of weird, sketchy motives. He's not trying to sell me on some MLM, or, you know, make me join his church or anything, right? He's just come up to talk to me out of genuine interest, and you hold that eye contact. This single moment is the single most important moment of any interaction. So if your eyes do not meet hers when she looks over, that's a missed opportunity, and you are already behind the mark, behind the ball, okay? So it's critically important that at, at, at every point, when at the first point when she looks over, that you see that, you hold that eye contact, and you muster all of the stillness, all of the calmness for two people because she's going to be a little bit nervous, right? You might be nervous too, right? Which is why you repeat approaches. You do many approaches so that your nervousness decreases and you feel calm enough, not just for yourself, but for her. And at the beginning, this might be difficult, but that's why you repeat progressive desensitization, just the same way you get over any kind of fear. Now, uh, that's, that's the key, right? That's the key for today. It's very, very utterly important that you focus on her eyes when she looks over that first moment. You can't miss it. All right, guys, that is the point I wanted to emphasize today, something I've been correcting, something I think people maybe underestimate. Now, on top of that, I wanted to share with you guys something pretty exciting, okay? Every month, I'm going to be doing a master class, okay? And the master class will be about an hour long uh, live stream, right? And this is going to be on one particular topic each month. The topic for this month is escalation, okay? So each month I'm going to take a topic that is, is, is important, powerful, right? A big part of game and I'm going to break down all aspects of it and kind of show you guys what I do and what I think is the best to do in Japan, all right? If that sounds awesome, 
check down the link below, the link below the video. I just started a Patreon. So if you like these videos, if you want to see more videos, check out my Patreon. I have a lot more videos inside. I just uploaded a 80-minute podcast with uh, Dorian Gray, the mad genius, mad hatter, um, along with a bunch of other videos breaking down Project Fukuoka, breaking down, uh, you know, different vlogs and all that sort of stuff. So check that out for sure. And don't miss the live stream on Escalation, which will be on Wednesday, two days from now. 9.30 p.m. Japan time. Once again, check it out below. Uh, you don't want to miss it. It's going to be great. And if you join now, of course, there's lots of other videos and content as well. I'll be uploading that uh, regularly. All right, guys, that's it for today. Enjoy your week and have a beautiful start to fall. Let me know what you guys think.